In this video, we will see how to create a basic container blueprint using a sample use case. Container blueprint that we'll create in this video will have VLAN resources, address resources, and NIC segments. Let's take a look at the use case. The use case involves one access switch, one management level network, two customer networks. One of the networks will acquire the address pool from the pod and the other one will acquire the address pool at runtime which is during the container creation. Here we have a sample container blueprint. Container blueprint is basically an XML document that follows standard XML conventions. In this case, the container blueprint starts with the BBUNA data as the root, which may have one or more child tags within it. To begin with, the version tag indicates the blade logic network automation server version for which the blueprint was created. For a new blueprint, there will not be any version information available. However, when the blueprint is exported, BNA system will include the version details in this tag. Just like the pod blueprint, the container blueprint includes a name tag to uniquely identify the blueprint within the BNA system. In our example, since our first network needs to retrieve the values for the network at runtime, we have defined an address space blueprint with the default network address and the network mask. We have address pool blueprint definitions, which includes the first customer IP pool one, which is deriving values from the customer space blueprint. And the second address pool is deriving values from the customer range, which is defined in the pod blueprint. There is also one address blueprint, which is defined for a gateway. And there are two VLAN blueprints, each one associated with the customer network defined in this container blueprint. There are two NIC segments. The first NIC segment is associated with the VLAN named customer VLAN1 and the address pool that is associated with this NIC segment is the customer IP pool 1. The second NIC segment is associated with customer IP pool 2 and the VLAN called customer VLAN2. We also have an external NIC segment which is a special type of NIC segment defined here to indicate any external networks here we have the node blueprint with the configure action info blueprints and unconfigure action info blueprints to make necessary changes on the hypervisor switch in terms of creating port groups or deleting port groups when the container is deleted. We have port type blueprints defined. The first port type blueprint associated with customer NIC1 and the second port type blueprint is associated with customer NIC2. Once the container blueprint is created, it could be imported using the import export utility that is available with BNA. I have imported the container blueprint using the import utility by supplying the appropriate credentials and the values. Imported container blueprints can be viewed from container blueprint section available under network tab of BNA. Here we have the imported blueprint available. BNA also provides pod and container management utility that can be used to manage pods and containers in various use cases. One of them is get compatible blueprints operation using which one could verify if the imported container blueprint is compatible for a given pod. If a blueprint is not compatible, there's a second operation that is available to verify what is incompatible with the blueprint. This can be done using the describe incompatibility option that is available in the utility. After importing container blueprint in BNA, Container Blueprints needs to be onboarded in Salem in order to create network containers. To onboard network container blueprints, go to the pod, click on Import Network Container Blueprints link, choose one or more intended blueprints that needs to be onboarded, click on the Import option. Once the network container blueprint has been successfully onboarded in Salem, go to the Network Container section, click on Create Network Container, in the network container create wizard, enter required values such as network container name, provider, pod, and the intended blueprint and click on next. Based on the network container blueprint design, you may see multiple nodes that are available here. In this case, we have only two customer NIC segments defined. And since the first customer NIC segment is derived out of an address space blueprint, here we have an option to overwrite the values at runtime. For the second customer NIC segment, since this is derived from an address range blueprint, the value cannot be overwritten. If there are any additional parameters that needs to be supplied, you may add them using the buttons available here and click on Submit. After the container is successfully created in BNA and in CLM, 
you will see the newly created network container in the network container section. You may also view the container details from the details pane available on the right hand side. Thank you for watching.